Hi, I'm Terrence Mulligan, president of Napa Valley Community Foundation. If you're watching this video, you might be one of the 636 donors who contributed to make our work possible in 2021. And to all of you, I wanna say thank you, thank you so much for your support. We couldn't do our work without you. Now there's a number of pages that follow this short video, and if I could call your attention to just one, it would be page nine where you can learn about the more than $320,000 in scholarship awards that we made with your help last year to support 100 hardworking students in this valley in their post-secondary educational journey. Thank you again for your support, and I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. Because the Community Foundation has been so supportive, we help with emergency preparedness in advance of a disaster, and then during a disaster, we will help people with things like um, gift cards to access different resources if they've been evacuated. We assist with emergency financial assistance for those who've lost property or who have lost work hours, and we help with disaster case management for long-term recovery. They connected me with other people, the other agencies, and they started helping me with clothes for my son, clothes for me, and the first needs. It was a positive thing to keep going, you know, after the, the, you lost uh, everything. The Napa Valley Vintners is one of the strongest supporters of the Napa Valley Community Foundation because we know they can beautifully care for our community in good times and in difficult times. Within days of the 2014 earthquake, we donated $10 million to the foundation to establish the Disaster Relief Fund. And since that time, the foundation has helped 55,000 people in our community through a series of crises. The foundation has distributed an astonishing $26 million for critical services such as medical care, temporary housing, food, legal aid, and more. And of that, $19 million has gone directly to nearly 8,000 families and small businesses who lost their homes or suffered economic hardship. We give to and we believe in the foundation because we know that together we can really make a difference. A lot of people don't realize that the pathway to citizenship is really hard. The law is extremely complex, legal service costs can be high, and people really need a lot of support with the English and civics requirement. Napa Valley Community Foundation has enabled us to provide high quality, low cost or no cost immigration legal services to hundreds of immigrants in Napa County every year. I could not be more pleased by the results the One Napa Valley Initiative has accomplished by helping thousands of immigrants become U.S. citizens like me. I became a naturalized citizen along with my parents and siblings when I was 11 years old. So this initiative is especially important and meaningful to me. Through studies it's been found that immigrants account for 23% of Napa community. They actually account for 33% of the community's workforce. And so really without the immigrants in our community, Napa wouldn't be able to thrive. They're really, really the backbone of this community. A rising tide lifts all ships, 
So as we lift the other members of our community, our whole community rises. Some of the barriers that our clients face specifically have to do with the cost of living. There are extremely high rents in um, the Napa Valley, which cause stress and the inability for our families to be able to afford to live in their own apartments. Ayudas con en comprar mi, mi carro, hacer mis taxes, um, ayudas para hacer appointments en lugares que no puedo hacer yo. I can say thank you for the staff because uh, they help us a lot. The foundation conducts hundreds of site visits with local charities each year, so they really know what's going on and where the needs are. I support the foundation's work to fight poverty because helping families build savings and assets makes our whole valley stronger and more prosperous. When we strengthen these families, we strengthen the entire community. Napa Valley Community Foundation's long-standing commitment to fight poverty has involved a partnership with us in which we are learning together what our community most needs and how best to respond. Investments like these don't just impact one individual. They transform the lives of entire families and generations to come. I support the Foundation's work to invest in youth because they're doing two important things that make a lot of sense. First, they make grants that help our students succeed in school and get ready for college. And second, the Community Foundation awards scholarships that make post-secondary education a reality for most of our promising graduates once they get out of high school. 21 years ago, we brought on the AVID program to the district. It started with a one classroom with 21 students and now has served over 23,000 students district-wide, uh, K-12. AVID is an acronym for Advancement via Individual Determination. What that means is that the students opt to be in the program and once they're committed, their commitment is actually for four years if they started at the high school level. It's very targeted services um, around the college application process, the financial aid application process, but more than anything, they form a family. And a family that is supported, not just in their local high schools, but a family that then they can go and integrate into at the college level. 